Radar can connect to a Mac or PC computer, either directly with an Ethernet crossover cable or through a network. This is very useful as a quick and easy file transfer method. In order to enable these features, there are some settings we must change on both the radar and the computer. But first, we will physically connect radar to the computer or network. We will use an Ethernet cable as shown. If you are connecting directly to a computer without going through a router, you should be using what is called a crossover cable. Crossover cables are usually red, however you can make sure it is a crossover cable by examining the cable ends. Hold both ends side by side. If the colored wires inside the connector are in the same order on both cable ends, it is not a crossover cable. If the colored wires inside each connector are mirrored, then it is a crossover cable. Connect the Ethernet cable from the radar to the computer or to your network router. Radar uses FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, to transfer files. We will set the radar as the FTP client and the Mac or PC as the FTP server. On the radar, navigate to Main Menu, Preferences Menu, Network Prefs, and then select Interface Prefs. Scroll down to Host Name and press Enter. Type in any name for the radar and press Enter. At DHCP Server, we will select Disabled. Next, we will enter an IP address. You can try using the same IP addresses as we use in this video. You'll want to write this IP address down for reference. Press enter. Make sure the subnet mask is set to 255.255.255.0. The gateway, primary and secondary DNS, and SMTP host are all settings that we do not need to worry about at this point. Just press enter to skip through each. At the FTP server dialog, select disabled. Radar will prompt you to save and then reboot. Shut the radar down and then turn it back on again. While Radar is rebooting, we can set up the Mac or PC computer. If you are using an Apple computer, open your system preferences. Click on Network. In this window, set to Configure Manually and then enter the IP address of the Mac. You can enter the same IP address as the Radar, but the last set of digits must be different. Write down this IP address as well. Make sure the subnet mask is identical to that of Radar, which we have set to 255.255.255.0. Then, click on the Apply button at the bottom of the screen. Once we have done this, click Show All and then click on Sharing. On the left-hand side of the screen, ensure that File Sharing is selected and that there is a check mark in the selection box. Under Shared Folders, select the folder you wish to share with the radar, or find a different folder by pressing the plus sign button. Once you have selected the folder, press the Options button and select Share Files and Folders using FTP. Uncheck the AFP option and then press Done. The FTP access will then be on. Depending on your version of operating system, you may not have the option in this window to enable FTP. You will have to enable the FTP server another way. Open up a terminal window. You can find the terminal application under Utilities in the Applications folder, or you can search for Terminal in the Spotlight search bar. Once you have the terminal window open, you will need to enter a very specific string of characters. Please enter this exactly as you see it, and then press Enter. Next, enter your user password and press Enter. Back in the System Prefs window, we will need to find what is called your account short name. To find this, press Show All and then click on Accounts. If it is locked, click on the padlock icon to unlock this window. On the left side of the screen, you will see your account name and icon. Right click or hold Option and click on the icon. Click on Advanced Options. Here you will see the short name. If this window does not say the word short name, it will still display the short name under Account Name. You may also need to disable your firewall to allow the connection from the radar. Return to the main System Preferences page by pressing Show All and select Security. Enable incoming connections. If you are connected to the internet, this may expose your computer to other unwanted connections, so please do this at your own risk. To set up a PC as the FTP server, start by opening your Start menu and selecting Control Panel. Click on Network Connection and then on Local Area Connection. Select Properties. In the window that appears, scroll down until you see Internet Protocol. Click on this to select and then press the Properties button. In this window, we will set the IP address and subnet mask of the PC. Set the IP address to the same as that of Radar, except with a different last set of digits. Please make sure that the subnet mask is the same as that of the Radar, 255.255.255.0. Write down the IP address of the PC, as we will refer to this number later. You will also need to have an FTP server program installed on your PC, such as FileZilla Server. Opening this program should enable the PC to accept incoming connections from an FTP client such as Radar. Using FileZilla Server, we must also create a new user within the program and select the folders which we'll share with Radar. Click on Edit and select Users. Create a new user and then select or create a folder that you wish to share with Radar. 
This is where files will be transferred to and from. When Radar has rebooted after saving the IP address settings, open up the main menu and navigate to Preferences menu, Network Prefs, and select Server Prefs. Set the network protocol to FTP and press Enter. Here, you will enter in the IP address of the PC or Mac computer that is the server. Press Enter and then enter any name for the server. Press Enter and save changes. You should now be ready to try a file transfer. We will try to back up a project to our PC. On the Radar Session Controller, press Backup. From the list of possible backup locations, select the option starting with N, which will be the server. Press Enter. You will be prompted to enter a username and password. If the server is a Mac, enter the short name and then the account password. If you are connecting to a PC, just use the username and password you use to log into your account. You will be prompted to select a location to backup to. Select a location or make a new folder. Select your desired backup options and press enter to begin the backup. The radar should then begin backing up to the server. You should see the time remaining counting down. This means that the transfer has begun. You can also look at the activity light on your network card to see if it is blinking to indicate activity. To restore a project from the server, first press the Restore button. Select Option N, which is the server. If prompted, enter the username and password, or short name if on a Mac, and then use the plus and minus keys to locate the project you wish to restore. Press Enter. The transfer should begin shortly. You can also export and import files in the same way, except by using the Export and Import buttons instead of Backup and Restore.